today we're going to do a demonstration on our new Varsity software. And the first thing we have to do is turn the computer on and allow the desktop time to load up. After it's had that time, we got to have to open up three separate sessions. The first session is actually the Varsity software. We wait for a user screen to come up. We sign on as ship to, tab down, ship to, enter. And that's the Varsity software. We're going to minimize this screen for a little bit and open the other two sessions. First session being the laser printer. Laser printer is used for printing packing lists and international documents. We're going to minimize that screen. We're going to open up the last session. It's a zebra printer session. Zebra printer is used to print all box labels to identify our boxes. Now we're going to go back to the Varsity software screen and it gives us two options. We can either pack UPS small partials or we can pack less than truckload shipments. For today's exercise we're going to pack up small UPS parcels. So we're going to select the two and select enter. This is the pack screen. Once you get to the pack screen you have to enter in the order number that you're packing. And then hit enter. That automatically loads in the shipment number and it calls for a container code. A container code is simply a code that lets you select what box you're going to package the goods in. And we do this by selecting an F4 which gives us a list of boxes and then we select from the list of boxes. Today we're going to take a miscellaneous box and then we're going to that populates the pack screen and we're going to hit enter. And at that point in time it assigns a container code for this particular box and that tells us what's packed in this particular box. It tracks it through the software system. It also prompts an item number and a quantity. Now we can pack this two different ways. I'm going to show you both ways. The first way is we can prompt and on this screen it gives us an item number and a quantity for everything that's on the order. And if we wanted to pack it this way we'd simply take a one and that would populate that item number back over into the into the pack screen. However, we've set our system up <clears throat> to where we can scan UPC numbers and SCC numbers. A UPC number just means that you're packing one of that item. An SCC number is a case of that item. As an example, you might have 12 each in a case so instead of scanning your items 12 times, you can scan it one time by scanning an SCC and it'll put 12 into the box. So we're, gonna, we're ready to start packing now. And all of our items has a UPC on it. And we take and simply scan the UPC and put it in our box. Again, we scan the UPC, put it in the box. Now then, I want to demonstrate to you what happens if we try to scan a wrong item into the order. We scan it, the computer sounds an alarm, and down at the bottom of the screen it says item number not found in shipment. So we're going to take that item back out of our box and we're going to continue packing the order. Scan, put it in the box. We scan it, put it in the box. Now then, we have one more item on this order and I'm going to intentionally leave it out right now and we'll come back to it a little bit later as it'll come up as showing another type of error. So now we're ready to end our container. We've got everything in it that we think is on the order. So we have to hit an F2 and then at that point in time it ends the container, it generates a box label off of the zebra printer that, I, that identifies all them items that you just packed in this particular box. <clears throat> Once 
once that item is entered into the system, it also allows our customer service department uh, all kinds of information that they can give to the customer, such as how much this particular box costs to ship and what's in that box. So now once that's happened, we're ready for a packing list. So we pr hit an F7 to give us a packing list. And you'll notice on this screen that it shows that we're one shy of this item number. Well, that was the item number that I purposely left out just to show you what would happen if you left something off the order. So we're going to go back now and we're going to fix that. It's going to ask us, you know, if we want to reconcile our processing, we hit yes and hit enter. At this point, we've got to put our order number back in. We've got to come down to container ID, prompt that with an F4, and then we got to select our carton number again. And now at this point, we can come back and we can scan our last item number into the box. Now we can go back now we can go back and we can hit our F7 and you'll notice that this particular time this screen is empty and that's a good sign because it tells you that every item number has been packed on that order so you know that you got the right item numbers and you got the right quantities of everything that's on that order so then you hit enter and then it comes back over to your laser printer it generates <coughs> It generates a packing list. Take the packing list, fold it, put it on your carton, and then we put the box on the conveyor for it to go down to be shipped. And in, in the next session, we'll show you how to ship the package.